Hello and welcome back all you threats to democracy you. Apparently even CNN has a line that they're not comfortable crossing when it comes to attacking Donald Trump and his supporters. And wouldn't you know it, it comes from the lying DC meth head, scabies infested scumbag himself, Michael Fanone. In case you couldn't tell, I'm not a fan. When I first learned about the indictment, um, I had a long conversation with a friend of mine, Ryan Riley, and uh, I told him how proud I felt uh, to be an American at that moment. Uh, much in the way that I did uh, when I learned that uh, our military had killed Osama bin Laden. Mm -hmm. um, I just felt incredibly proud. What? These two um, seem comparable Incredibly to proud you? to have been. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to cut you off, but the, why, why, are that, why that comparison <clears throat> in particular? I believe they're comparable. Well, that's because you're an idiot. Oh, do you? 9-11 was a series of horrific attacks using airliners filled with people that resulted in over 3,000 people dead. And Osama bin Laden was an Islamic terrorist who was personally responsible for that attack and dozens of others around the world. January 6th was a minor riot, especially compared to the Democrat riots we all witnessed from 2015 to 2020, consisting of around 300 people out of 120,000 who marched peacefully just as Donald Trump instructed them to do. One unarmed Trump supporter, Ashley Babbitt, was inexplicably shot and killed and another had a heart attack. Trump didn't start any wars and was responsible for the killing of one austere religious scholar in Iran. So I think you're a f***ing imbecile. In what way? Absolutely. Uh, Osama bin Laden was a terrorist who committed a horrific act against American people uh, and against our republic. Wait, now it's a republic? What happened to the threat to democracy? And I believe that Donald Trump is a terrorist who committed horrific acts against the American people. Do you even know the meaning of the word horrific? I swear, these people just misuse words constantly to the point that they have no meaning at all. You can imagine that that is a very eyebrow raising statement to say the least, the notion of Osama bin Laden in a comparison to Donald Trump. It, likely speaks to just how deeply you have been concerned and have felt about all of this. But are you concerned that statements like that or the rhetoric surrounding what his role has been is going to cloud people's view of this indictment as a fair process? Yep. I, I think that the only person or people whose view matters uh, with regards to this indictment uh, are the jurors who will eventually be sat uh, and listen to the facts. I think your opinion doesn't matter, especially when it comes to the facts, since you literally start out your ridiculous memoir with the lie that Officer Brian Sicknick died of, quote, wounds he sustained on January 6th, which is a lie not backed up by the autopsy, which showed no injuries or blunt force trauma. All right, folks, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment to let us all know what you think about this clip. See you all in the next one.